Welcome to ADHD Whiskey, my name is Matt, and today we're doing a little bit of a bourbon skirmish. What's a bourbon skirmish, Matt? So happy you asked, Matt. A bourbon skirmish is when I have two bourbons, or whiskeys in general, and I want to taste them against each other blind. It's the old game of one-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano. It's like two knights jousting for their lives at that restaurant medieval times, except they're not knights at all. They're actually whiskey. And today, those knights are Green River Weeded Bourbon and Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Series Weeded Bourbon. But before we get into this bourbon skirmish, I want to tell you about today's video sponsor, IntoTheAM.com. IntoTheAM.com is where you can go to get one of these glorious shirts. This is a Bourbon Junkies collaboration. They've done several. They have a ton of graphic tees. They have a ton of basic tees. They got V-necks, essential tees. They have hoodies and bomber jackets and underpants. They have jogger pants, which are some of my favorite. They have shorts and tanks, and you'll say thanks when you get your first order from Into the AM, try it on, and wanna say something to me. Because guess what? Those clothes are as comfy as can be. Pre-shrunk and pretty friggin' awesome. If you click on my link in the description below or go to intotheam.com slash ADHD, use code ADHD at checkout and you'll save yourself 10% off your order. Visit their website May 26th through May 30th and you're going to save an additional 25% for their Memorial Day sale. Thank you Into The AM for sponsoring this video. Love you. Now that we've talked about Into The AM, let's talk about Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Series brand new release. <coughs> America. This is their weeded bourbon and it's going into glass A. This bottled and bond bugger comes in at 100 proof. It is six years old, 68% corn, 20% wheat, 12% malted barley. It is distilled, aged and bottled in Bardstown, Kentucky at Bardstown Bourbon Company. Thank you Bardstown Bourbon Company for sending me this sample. In sample B, Green River, 90 proof, minimum four years old, weeded bourbon. Full disclosure, this was also a media sample, so thank you Green River for sending this. America. Green River, 90 proof weeded bourbon will go in glass friggin' B. Nailed it. Mixing them up. Mixing them up. Mixing them up. Which one is which? Which one is which? Which one is which? Who the heck knows? Who the heck knows? Behind the back. Boom. No look pass. Stacking them up. La! Magic trick. What? Where did they go? Oh. They're right here. Which one is which? No idea. Successfully confused myself. And you, because you don't know which one is which either. Which was the entire point. Glass number one. Sweet. A little, hmm. A little bit of apple. Sweet, spiced apple, a bit of grain. By the way, before I get any further, Bardstown Bourbon Company, bottled and bond weeded bourbon. Origin series, about 50 bucks retail. Green River, coming in a little bit cheaper, a little bit younger, a little bit less proof. 90 proof Green River, roughly $35 at retail. Will either one of these weeded buggers be a must buy at their price point? I don't know, we're about to find out. Glass one, little cinnamon. Cinnamon, wish death upon me. Blood in my eye, dog, and I can't see. Spiced apple ring and cinnamon. Slight corniness. A little bit of grain shining through. A bit bright. The nose is a bit bright. Not a lot of dark flavors or dark aromas are coming out of this glass on the nose anyway. We're talking brighter fruits like maybe strawberries. Maybe a little bit of florality. A little bit of flower power. But not a lot of darkness. Not a lot of extra age. Not a lot of barrel influence. Barrel char. Dark fruits, tobacco, none of that. Glass two. Oh, different. Glass two is different. Not quite as sharp, but still bright. This is a weird way to say it, but it almost smells carbonated. Like it smells bubbly. Julie-like of like time whiskey would call it. Effervescent. 
like a sparkling white wine, if that wine were made out of bourbon. Glass two, glass one. Going back to glass one now, and I am getting more corn on the nose of glass one. Which nose do I prefer more? That's a great question. I like them both. I don't love them both, but I do like them both. They both have enjoyable noses, but for different reasons. Now let's put them down the hatch to find out which one of these will be the winning son of a batch this evening. Class number one down the hatch. Ooh, I know what that is automatically. Weird, a little bit of youngness, but a little bit of sweet corn, like a nice cream corn, a little bit of a delightful sweet whiskey up front, but on the back end, on the finish, I was like, what is that note? And then it hit me that it was a grapefruit note, which I normally typically get only on Irish whiskeys. And then I thought, wait a minute, I have got that note on a bourbon before, what was it? And then my memory, worked for the first time in its entire life and I remembered that it was a Green River product I got that same note on. So if glass number one is not Green River, then weird coincidence, but we will see. Glass one, good. That grapefruit note is very unique in a bourbon, which is actually super interesting and quite enjoyable. It's not thick, it's not super viscous, but it's also not extra thin. Let's go to glass two. Glass two is more full-bodied. Whatever the difference was on the nose is transferring to the palate. Maybe it's the yeast that's being used, maybe, I'm not sure, but there is a unique taste on sample two that also is on the nose that I can't quite put my finger on. But glass two is good. The back end is a tad bit bitter, a tad bit sharp. It kind of leaves you going on the back like like a little bit, it kind of puckers you up a little bit. The finish on glass two is a bit puckering. Let's try glass one again. Thinner, brighter. Do I like these both? Yeah. Do I think that they're great? No, these are good bourbons. One of them is $50, one of them is 35. One of them is more full body than the other. I do like glass two a lot except for the bitter finish. Glass number one lacks in ways that glass number two does not, but if I could continuously get that grapefruit note on the back of it, then it would be a phenomenal experience just because of that one note on a bourbon. So what do I do here? What do I say? Who was gonna win the bourbon skirmish? If I had to give scores, I would say that glass number one receives a score of it's good, it's a 7.2. And glass number two, also good, but not that much better. 7.35, that's a new one. I've never given two decimal points. 7.35 for glass number two. So in this bourbon skirmish, it's really gonna depend on your palate, which one you like more. Tonight, I did prefer glass two slightly over glass one. Now let's find out which one lost and which one won. The winner today, glass two, is in glass lettered A. The winner tonight was Bardstown Bourbon Company's $50 100 proof origin series, the weeded bourbon. Thank you, Bardstown. Thank you, Green River, for sending these samples. That's gonna do it for this bourbon skirmish. That's gonna do it for this video. Please hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe already. We're like a thousand subscribers away from 50,000, which is a huge channel milestone. So help me get there quick. Hit the subscribe button and make my day. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on double checking things that should be double checked when they should be double checked. Because sometimes you run a competition that you take semi-seriously and others take way more seriously than you. And then that competition has a score sheet, which is a terrible score sheet that you made yourself.
and drinks are involved and four hours into this competition, we reveal the results and we reveal the wrong results because score sheet bad and not adequate. And then instead of double checking when I should have double checked, I mean, when you should have double checked, you decide to double check later. And then when you double check later, you have to make a video saying that the results of that competition were incorrect and should have double checked. Keep your eyes out because the finals are coming. Who's gonna be the champion, Dan Shook or Jason of the Mash and Drum? <sighs> Only time can tell. And time is on our side or something, I don't know. Tune in, hit the notification bell. I love you.